ten of them that are young. Okay, so just because you uh you're in your forties or fifties, that don't mean that you have the truth, but you have an understanding. And just, just because you're from the tribe of Judah doesn't mean <laughs> that you have more of an understanding of what's going on. All right? Oh, that, 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 that other the other tribes have to bow to bow down and kiss your ass. Yeah, he said he was that, gonna bring I, Judah and Ephraim together, not just Judah. We went through that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, this is um, the Psalms eight and two. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength. Hey, he kept saying he was uh, uh, 55. You know? But yep. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Yeah, that, and we're doing that by bringing out the word as young men, okay? We, we were in our uh, teen, teenage years and early 20s now. Some of us are in our uh, early 20s and our... Um, Late 20s and 30s, you know? So, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, cleansed our minds, we came to the truth and gave us the authority to teach older men. Because the older men, they, they don't know anything, right? The ones that they haven't been raised <laughs> up in the truth. And, and, that, hey, and that's also the spirit because we just got done reading uh, young men, you know? We just got done reading that, that, that scripture, man. You know, young men, you know? So, there's a perfect example, man, that, you know, once you hit a certain age and you already built everything up in your mind that you know it, yeah. that's what happens to you. You, you, you get settled. Talk. Yeah, you, you get talk. settled. You know? That's why, you know, there's a saying, you know, you can't teach old dog new tricks. You know? Continue here. I got something. All right, go with you out that's this is uh, Luke chapter 12 verse 16 and he spake a parable unto them saying the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully and he thought within himself saying what shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits and he said this will I do I will pull down my barns and build greater and there I will bestow all my fruits and my goods and I will say to my soul, soul, that has much good laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat and drink and be merry. Yeah, he don't know that just because he, he believes it's in good health, you know, he believes that he's in good health. That, that doesn't mean much, you know. You could have a damn tumor. You could have cancer. You don't, you don't know the Lord going to destroy you. Yeah. So you, you multiplying your money. You might, you, you might be boasting about how, how in good shape you are. You're 55, you reach, you reach a certain age. The Lord bless you. That, that's what Esau says. You know, bless, bless, bless is he because he's rich. Okay? That's not the attitude of, a, of an elect man of the Most High. The Lord can destroy, can destroy you in a moment's notice. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, it, it's beautiful how the spell works, man, because every point that we were hitting prior to that guy was revealed through that guy, you know? Getting this truth as a young man, just because you know you're an Israelite, don't mean you know everything. Basically, everything that we were going over, man, the Most High revealed it through that dude. The yeah. Most High made him a perfect example of how not to be. Yeah. Oh, fool! God, no fear. What? Verse 19. And I will say to my soul, soul, that has much goods laid up for many years. That's the spirit that he was in. What? Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? There you go. So you can't put trust in uncertain riches, as the scripture said. So is he, <laughs> verse 21, so is he that layeth up treasures for himself and is not rich towards God. Read that again. Verse 21, Luke 12 and 21. Mm -hmm. So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. That's the scripture that says, lay it, lay it not up um, treasures on earth with moth, moth and rust of corrupt. So, when I, he, he pulled a bunch of 50s. That's why it's, it's rent money, some shit, right? Yeah. This is damn rent it's money. You know? <laughs> shit, yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's crack money. You know? They got, they got a ticket. Yeah, they got a, they got a ticket. Yeah, that's the false like, prophet. That's the false prophet in the building. They're not, they're not getting the picture. They ain't, they ain't getting the picture that you, that, you, know, you might have to pay for parking. Let me read this. 
read this. Is it Matthew? This is just what you said. This is spirit. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Now, yeah, that dude was a total carnal He's waving carnal money, level. money around. Total carnal level. Anybody could have came up there and snatched this damn wallet out of his hand. Basically throwing the money around. Yeah, the only reason I was offering him bus fare, I wanted him to come back. That's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he exposed himself, being carnal and shit, yeah. you know? It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor and rust doth corrupt. And that's where the sacrifice comes in. A lot of sacrifice that we were actually went through were actually involuntary, you know? A lot of sacrifice we went through, like I lost my woman, and she was a whore anyway. That was involuntary. I lost my job. She couldn't do nothing about that. Same thing. You know? And that was a couple few years ago. That's right. It says, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Yeah, so what? The, 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 the oil, the water, okay, which is the word, that's more valuable, okay, than uh, making provisions for the flesh. Alright? The scriptures say make not provisions for the flesh. That's right. Alright? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yeah, he can't, well, he doesn't even understand. He doesn't even understand that paradigm. He can't, so he, that would go over his head and he didn't even explain that. You know? The reason why I emphasize that is because he kept on saying, you know, it's about what's in here. You know? Yeah, well, what's it says in here, what, you gotta project out here. Exactly. You know? It says where your treasure is, or for, yeah, for where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. So you can see, tell what state of mind he was in. Yeah, he was all fucked up. You know, he was on this side and he was on that side. Yeah. You know, he's over here and he's over there. You know? Yep. Uh, uh, Proverbs 8 verse 11 For wisdom is better than rubies And all that like it. For wisdom is better than rubies And all the things that may be desired Are not to be compared to it That's <laughs> wisdom is better or Better than rubies Meaning that there's no dollar amount That you can put on hey, the uh, truth He should have been, been flashing his wisdom Not his money yeah, exactly, yeah. But his mouth is filthy man the mouth, is open, the mouth is an open supplicant. If you fall out of his that doctrine, you're going to die. His mouth, mouth is an open supplicant. Right? I'm getting in the grave. Great. Good James. I got a couple precepts. All right, who have got scripture, man? Psalms, chapter 60. Uh, Slack is. Psalms 62 and 9. Surely men of a low degree are vanity, and men of a high degree are a lie, to be laid in the balance. They are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Set not your heart upon them, okay? So that's, that's not something that, that we're concerned about, uh, you know, riches, okay? If we were to come into riches, we would just uh, distribute it to our elders first, okay? We would take care of what we need, take care of, then we take care of the rest of the camps, okay? According to our ability. Okay, but we're not setting our heart upon it like that's going to take care of all our problems and like like America not going to end. We know yeah, right. we know it's an end to this bitch. Okay, we know it's an end to America. All right, it's going to be the end of the EU. It's going to be the end of NATO. It's going to be the end of the beast, the whore. All right, the Lord's going to put an end on to, to Esau. All right, so our mind is not set on temporal things. Our mind is set on <coughs> get, getting the kingdom. All right, our mind is set on keeping the commandments. You know. Not being a whores, homosexuals. What? This is uh, for that old nigga. Hebrews 5 verse 12. For when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Yeah, that's, that, was, that was the problem with that old guy that was up there, okay? He was wanted to run his mouth and he, he was coming with his own doctrine. His doctrine wasn't according to the scriptures. What the scriptures actually say. Alright? That, his attitude wouldn't have, wouldn't have flown. It don't flow, fly right now. It wouldn't have flew with, uh, in, the, uh, in the Lord's time. It wouldn't have flew back in any of the uh, times where hey, Israel man. was in his we'll power. Hey, hey, don't, you can take pictures and photos of the signs. Don't, don't, don't film us, right? right? You can take pictures of the signs, though. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Cool. Just let you know. Just let you know. Yeah. What's like? It says, for when a time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first oracles of, of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Yeah, because he, he was uh, approaching, you know, subjects that he didn't have any understanding of. 
No. Yeah, because he, he had his he had his own doctrine. The doctrine wasn't in line with the with the, uh, the commandments of uh, Yahweh Shah. Yeah, he was right in his own mind. So that's good, good uh, saying. Vain, vain. Oh, I got one on James 1 and 26 uh, also. Right. James 1 and uh, 26. Read what you got. Yep. This is uh, Matthew's chapter 20, verse 26. But it shall, it's like it, Matthew 20 and 26. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your servant. Yeah, he was on that bullshit, you know? That uh, Judah and, and all his age and his money. And he didn't even, even have any understanding of that. And if he knew so, when the brother told him he was Ephraim, Ephraim was the head tribe when the king was split. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, yeah he's, he's the head of the king. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't know the name either. You know, yeah. you know what yeah. he's saying? Yahweh, Yahweh or yeah. some shit. Yahweh. 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 I hate that he knew Yahweh Shai and they represent him. So really all he knew was he was from the tribe of Judah. That's all he, that's all he knew. So he, needed to be, he needed to be taught again. And he wasn't happy. Right? So the only thing left for him is death if you don't repent. And it's, I good to say that. and it's good to say he that exalts himself because that's what he's trying to do. He shall be a face. You know? Because I wasn't going to go back and forth with him on that topic, you know? I acknowledge that the hit tribe is Judah, but you got to understand why that was. Okay? And I was trying, I was trying to explain that, but, you know, you can't accept that, you know? And the brother, you got him good too, because he said, well, then you're supposed to be the lawgiver. You know? But he, didn't want, he don't want to keep, what, the least of the commandments. He didn't, you know? He don't want to keep the least of the commandments. Yeah, huh? <laughs> All right, what? 27. Matthew 12 and 27. For whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to yeah, be. Yeah, if he's claiming to be so great, he gave us a 20 or a 50 or something. I asked for a donation. Yeah. You know? He'd smile, walk a little bit, and came back. You know? Shit. Sure. Right. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life to the ransom for men. Yeah, and the thing that, he was, that, that was being ministered was the truth, okay? He wasn't coming in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He wasn't coming in the right doctrine. He was coming in the doctrine of the world. First John chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Huh? I got, I got that's, more to it. That's plain. Okay? And, and he's, a, he's, a, he's a big liar. Okay? He has no intention in growing his beard off. Because yeah, some young boy saw him do that, you know? Yeah, but we, the ones telling you, we was coming from the word, man. We're, exactly. just, we're just relaying the message. Yeah, he couldn't even get that he was judged by men in the flesh, but live according yeah. to the most high in the spirit. But yeah. well, Yahweh was shy. Yahweh was shy in the spirit. Because Yahweh shy is a judge. Yeah, right? you, and, and your mindset should reflect what you do on the outside, anyways, and how you conduct yourself. You know? He wants to talk about the mind. Well, his mind ain't right. You know? And how he, how he show, basically exposed himself shows you that. Yeah, judge shall live by faith. Obviously, he don't have no faith in the, in the commandments. But that was scripture, bro. Yeah. Job chapter 9, verse 20. If I justify myself, my own mouth shall condemn me. If I say I am there perfect, it's he, he justified himself. Yeah, that's what scripture says. He bears record of himself. But go ahead. That's that's the better point than scripture. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read the scripture again. Uh, all right. Uh, Job nine and twenty. If I justify myself, my own mouth shall condemn me. If I say I am perfect, it shall also prove me perverse. There you go. And, and that dude, he, he was all his brain is all messed up. You know, he, he learned stuff from you know from from you know, GMS, learned stuff from other groups. And they try to mangle it on with his own doctrine, you know. And now he has a uh, basically he has a reprobate doctrine. Look at this. Right? It's not going to lead him to life. We're here, we're here, Hebrew Israelites. We teach our no, nation. I'm talking about what you were talking about. Oh, this is a guy from earlier. He, he basically was saying that the Lord didn't care if he had a beard or not. When the, the commandments clearly tell you that we're supposed to have beards on our face. Once we come back to our, to, to the truth, to acknowledge that 